Howdy folks, it's all Turtle here, and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 for our third and final leg of the Swiss Northern Lakes bus trip. It's only a two hour trip, but um, it's taken us longer than that already, but we're going to finish it today. I assume you've already watched legs one and two, so you know what's going on. One leg per video, here's leg three, so video three, let's continue and finish this up. Alright, so the first thing we do is come over here and repair and refuel, and it looks like for this trip, we also do not have the gps so we're going to do this one manually by hand as well which i've said before every single time i actually enjoy being forced to do it by hand a lot more but it makes video making a little more challenging with editing and making things look cohesive and not just staring out the window for an hour for some of these legs but we'll do the best we can so we don't need this map ever because we'll use this one now in fact let's zoom that out a little bit and then we'll try to feel where we're going here. What else do we need to do? We're going to clean this up, get rid of that. My wind is on, it doesn't really matter. We will use this as our stopwatch because it's quick and easy. And first set of flaps down. And let's read about what's happened in here. We're going to end up as Zulu Romeo. So here we go. Zeller C, lift your 172 back into the sky and set a northeasterly course and fly for 24 nautical miles, about 11 and a half minutes, to reach Zeller C, an aspect of Lake Constance, a famous body of water where Switzerland, Austria, and Germany meet. All right, so let's come down here and we need to do what course? 48 degrees. So let's go here to 48. We're going to turn to the right slightly once we take off. And we're headed to what is it? It's called Zeller C. I'm trying to find on Google Maps and it's sending me all over Germany. And I have no idea. It's nowhere near. It's Lake Constance is this. That I do know, this thing. So we're probably headed over here somewhere. Although Google Maps doesn't say it's there. So we are all on our own for this one. So 12 minutes here. It's going to take us like 20 minutes, probably. But 48 nautical, or 48 degrees. We got that set. Alrighty. Um, famous body of water where those countries meet, though. I'm really determined to find this. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. All right, 48 degrees for 12 minutes or so. And let's get in the air and let's figure this thing out. Go away. There we go. Okay. Um, what else we need to do? Nothing. Parking brake off. Give it some juice. And parking brake's on now, isn't it? And we'll start the clock as soon as we get in the air, just because, um, just because we have to get in the air and it takes me longer to do everything. And we'll set autopilot up in a second so that we can just use the heading bugs. We can look around. It is fun to hand fly, but it's very difficult to hand fly while we're looking around. We all have seen what happens when we try to do that. It doesn't work. Brakes to stop the wheels. And the flaps coming in. And what do we want to do? 48 degrees. Let's fly runway heading for a moment. Let's set up our autopilot while we're flying runway heading. Whoa, my mouse has disappeared. Um, I don't see any terrain issues, but let's do 5,000 anyway. We're going to use heading bug. Vertical speed will go up. Um, I said vertical speed. We will go up. Let's do 600, 700 feet per minute, it says. I don't know. Let's set autopilot right now. Can't even see that far away. 700 feet per minute. Good enough. Good enough. Now we'll start our timer. There we go. And we're going to head over that way somewhere for 12 minutes. If we can make it over this hill that's right in front of us. Think we can do it? I think we can do it. All right, co-pilot, you're not being very helpful here. You're in my way. You are in my way. This can tell us something else too, I think, about um, back on track. Or was that back on track? I didn't even read it. Didn't even read it. Our co-pilot won't shut up. Alrighty. Twelve and a half, around twelve minutes or so out. And um we're heading heading over. Must be here. Must be here. Cause this is like where two countries meet. It has to be that area. This is get out of my way. That little thing behind the co-pilot is called Unsea. I saw that on the map. I think it was Unsea. Right? Well Unsea, that sounds funny. Untersea. <laughs> Whatever. Untersea. So, you know the drill. Everything is going smoothly. That was actually quite smooth. 
the last video, the last leg, we talked a lot because everything was really close together and we had a lot. We were busy, busy, busy. But this one, not so much with these spread out points of interest. So I'm going to be quiet for a minute, let you do some sightseeing. You won't miss anything, even though I'll cut it down. And then we're going to get to that lake, Untersee, Zeller Sea, whatever it is. And I will see you in a couple minutes. Alright, just checking in with everybody here, seeing how everybody is doing as we fly along over this first part of the water, which I don't think is where we're going, because we're only about eight minutes into this, I think. Right? Yeah, eight minutes into it, so I think that water up there is where we're going. Then the next lake we're going to is the one that's right here. That's the next one. So I think we're going here to Undersea. And then we're going there, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's instead enjoy the view of the towns along this river. I live here. You live there. It takes us 45 minutes to get there because <laughs> we have to go over the bridge, right? And then these people know each other. Yeah, they, they, they swim across, probably, or probably not. All righty, let's see here. What do we need to do? Nothing at the moment. Just hope we clear this train because if you look, that ridge is actually growing on us as we get closer. But I think we're good. I did bring it down to 4,000. Not sure if I mentioned that. I think I said five originally, but I brought it down to 4,000. Um, I would like to be a little lower. It'd be nicer to see some of the stuff closer up. But then we have things like this in the way. So we're going to do it the way we're doing it. And um, as soon as we get over this body of water in front of us, we'll read about the next POI and change our course. Actually, we'll probably change our course a little before. But, um, that's a minute away yet, which is a quick cut for you. And there's our cut. We're about to get over the water. I'm just enjoying these towns here between between cuts here. So let's see. What do we need to do next? We need to go... 79 degrees alrighty and then we're gonna head east northeast to reach Lake Urberlingen the northwestern finger of the lower portion of Lake Constance the northwestern finger of the lower portion of Lake Constance really because Google Maps says it's this and there's a northeastern finger of the lower 
portion? Wouldn't this be the upper portion? I don't know. But there's the airport. ZR. ZR. So we're just going to kind of turn around and follow the water, I'm assuming, the rest of the way. I don't know. But anyway, we're over the water, so let's put that away and let's head. What was it? 79 degrees. Just, I want to quickly look at this. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right. We are flying a plane, though. So 79 degrees it is. And there's 70... Oh, it stalled for a second. There's 79. Let's look out the window because it's fun. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Very cool. And let's restart our watch. You know we know where we're headed now, but let's restart the stopwatch anyway just because. And there it is. And we're going to do this for how long? Four minutes. And then we're going to get to the water and then turn toward the southeast. Under 12 miles, not miles, be over the main body of Lake Constance, which is over here. If you look at the right map, map on the right. And then after that, maintain your heading and descend, and you'll land at the airport to complete the journey of your beautiful lakes in northern Switzerland. Gorgeous. All right, let's just hide all these, and then let's do the time as we need to, time and degrees. So we're going to do this for another couple minutes, get over that finger, and then head 139 degrees. And then we'll just head towards the airport. Alrighty, so what does that mean for us? That means we're going to look around together, I think, outside. And we'll briefly look around. Oh, there's a big island out there. There's probably animals on that one, though. And we'll check out all of the scenery. Yeah, did I lose my voice? Alright. Oh, there's a big island there with people on it. And then the road to get in and out. This is so cool. This is awesome. So, according to Google Maps, this is actually Germany. And then we're heading back to Switzerland or something. Ooh, look at that. Now that is some good satellite imagery. The scale is right. Everything is right. Scale is a big thing. It can really look silly if the scale is wrong, but that looks fantastic. Very nice. Alrighty, let's hop inside and get ready to turn the airplane in a moment. I just want to get the immersion. Here we go. That is killer. Look at that golf course in the hills. Alright, I just realized though that I need a screenshot or a thumbnail for this video. So, I may use this, I may not, but there we go. Come on, reset the camera. Hop inside and let's set the heading to 139 degrees. 139 degrees for five and three quarters of a minute. Let's come down here. Looks like we're actually ahead of schedule. That's fine with us. 139 degrees. And I almost got it without zooming in again. And reset the timer. And then we're going to head towards the airports. We're coming down. And then after five and three quarter minutes, we will go to 129 degrees. And that should bring us to our airport. And it looks like it'll be Dog Lake to the left. So we'll stay at this altitude for a while. And then we'll come down because we're only at 4,000 feet. So um, we should be good. All right, so quite a bit of sightseeing now. Because I don't need to say anymore. We already read about it. We know where we're going. It's just a matter of flying for a while, then adjusting our heading to get to that airport, which we'll do on our own because we can see the airport. Yep. In fact, you see it right there. You see the lights flashing. Two, 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 back and forth. Two, 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 two. So that's where we're headed. I will see you in a little bit.
Okie dokie, I think it's time to do something here. I don't think we want to turn to 129 because it'll put us over the airport. And we need to approach the airport, so let's just stop our clock thing now. It doesn't even matter at the moment. We know what we're doing. Let's start coming down before we take over manually. Let's go down. We'll put it at 2,000. Um, although we'll be taking over long before then. Let's do 700 feet per minute. Bring back throttles so we don't overspeed. See the predictive line on there. Let's keep that in the green. There we go. That'll be good. We'll keep our speed up, though. Don't need to slow down yet, but there's our flashing runway lights. We've seen them from all the way across the lake. We'll have a short dog leg final to the left. And we'll land. We might have to come down a little more aggressively than this, but we'll see. We, yeah, we got four white on the pappy. Let's come down a little steeper here. 1,200 feet per minute. Bring back throttles even more. Keep that purple predictive line in the green. There we go. Good. How are we doing otherwise? Everything's looking good. We will look outside for a moment since we have autopilot engaged still. And um, enjoy this final bit of the final leg. So what's going to happen next? Um, I'll probably throw in a discovery flight or two. Those are quick and easy. And then for the next bush trip, I think I'm going to do the Alpine Challenge. Just because the name sounds scary and difficult. And it's a low-wing aircraft, so it's hard to see. I'm predicting, predicting for that bush trip. There's going to be a lot of manual flying because we're going to have to get around mountains and climb and navigate all this mountain stuff. So autopilot probably won't work very well because it'll put us into mountains. So lots of hand flying, which means not as much sightseeing. But I'm getting way ahead of myself. Maybe that bush trip will be nothing like I'm predicting. But that's what I want to do next because I want to know. I want to know what it's like. And there we go. 2,000 feet. Alrighty, so let's look at this town before we kill autopilot and head on in. Let's see what is the runway orientation look like. Kind of hard to tell from here, but I think we have to get to that shoreline. And I think we're going to go through that shoreline, I think. Anyway, let's get a look at this town. Yay, boats underwater. Yay. I love that. It's so funny. Okay. Hey everybody, see you later. Do we have time to look outside one quick time? I think we can as long as we're very quick about it. Very, very fast about it. Look at the mountains in the distance over there and back there. And over there. And there we go. Alrighty. Um, oh, my leg itches. It's hard to scratch my leg when I'm landing the plane. Alright, come on. More camera. There we go. I have a button that's worrying out, I think. Okay, here we go. I think we are good. Let's kill autopilot. And everything should still be trimmed. Yes, I don't have to touch anything. Unlike some planes that put your nose straight up in the air. Let's turn a little bit to the left. Keep those shuttles engaged here, though, so you don't descend. Let's not get into flap range quite yet. We're a little far away for that. There you go. Nice, steady, level flight in terms of ascent and descent. Okay, now we're all in the red on the pappy, so let's just stay where we are until we get back on glide slope. And looking around while we can. The Minecraft clouds in the water. The dirt and scratches on the window. Oh, we're starting to climb a little bit here because I'm not paying attention. We all know what happens when the turtle looks around. We get way off. So, if you want to look around, you can't. <laughs> you can kind of rewind the tape if you want to, but you can't see new stuff that way. And there's no replay mode. I know there's replay mod, but I run mod free. But once you have a replay mod, we will, you know, land and then look around using replay and then look around. Or we could take the drone out. But in push trips, you can't because once you land and it's done, you, you're done. You have to move on or else it'll screw up here. <laughs> screw up your progress. I've tried. Trust me. All right, let's land a plane and stop, um, stop bibbling babbling as I look around again. Oh, didn't I just say not to do this? Do as I say, not as I do. All right, we are way high now because I'll scoot around. And we should be in flap range, and we're not. So let's bring back throttle so we can descend and slow down. There we go. Nice. Get back centered again. And first set of flaps. Throttles are back. 
for the moment anyway, because we got to get right back on that glide slope and get our speed back down. All right, I'm actually going to nose up so that we get the glide slope because I want to slow down too. So nose up, I guess I should say nose up will slow us down, not doing anything in the throttle. We'll get us back on glide slope. All right, two set flaps. A little bit of throttle to keep us from stalling. I'm getting a little slow for two sets. See that? If I had three sets out, then that'd be smoother. But because it's only two sets at this speed, it's getting kind of rough. All righty, here we go. Wow, ground effect or train effect is really kicking me around here. What the heck? Weird. All righty, aiming for those numbers. Oh, there we go. Now the train dribbling stopped. Aiming for those numbers. Holy cow, what's going on here? Let's recover. What? Stalling already? Okay, fine. Ground effect saving us. And those boot on gently. That wasn't as bad as it looked and sounded, but it wasn't good. That was definitely our worst landing in a very long time. But coming over that hill really screwed me up with the train turbulence. But anyway, let's step on the brakes. Look for that save icon. And there we go. We are done. All right, two hours and one minute total. It was supposed to take one hour and 58. So only three minutes longer than it was supposed to. I've never had that before. It's usually like two or three hours longer than it's supposed to. But anyway, that's it. This push trip is over, so that means this video is over. I know you're sad. But just like and subscribe, and then you get to the next video. And I don't know what we're doing. You have to find out, and I'll see you then.